Hello guys, my name is Andreas Sava, and today we're going to discuss molecular geometry and electron domain geometry using balloon geometry. Molecular geometry there is the geometry of where atoms are in relation to a central atom taking into account lone pairs of electrons. We can predict their shapes reasonably, uh, reasonably well using Lewis structures and the valence shell electron pair repulsion which is the EVSEPR. In this experiment, we focus on determining the shapes of molecules of the general type ABX, where A is the central atom surrounded by X, B atoms, and X can have integers values of two to six. An example is ammonia. Having the molecular formula alone is uh, insufficient to predict the shape of a molecule. In example, AB2 molecules can be either linear or bent, and we can see in the picture right here. Moreover, AB3 molecules can be planar, uh, trigonal planar, trigonal pyramidal, or T-shaped molecules. To determine uh, shape, we must start with the correct Lewis structure and apply the VSEPR model. Valence shell electron pair repulsion or VSEPR is the electrons in the valence shell are the ones involved in chemical bonding. The basis of the VSEPR model is that electron pairs in the valence shell of an atom repel one another. Two types of electron pairs, bonding and non bonding pairs, lone pairs. Bonding pairs may be found in single bonds or multiple bonds. When we use VSEPR model, we refer to electron domains instead of electron pairs. Some EVSEPR models we can see in these slides. We see the carbon dioxide. As we can see, there are two double bonds. So the total number of uh, electron domains on central atom, there are two electron domains. The ozone has one double bond, one single bond, and one lone pair on the central atom, which is the oxygen, thus three electron domains. The ammonia has three single bond and one lone pair on the N atom, so it has four electron domains. The phosphorus pentachloride has four single bonds on the central atom, which is the phosphorus. And last, the xenon tetrafluoride has four single bonds and two lone pairs on the central atom. And thus, it has a total number of electron domains of six electron domains. So the VSEPR model predicts that because these electron domains repel one another, they will arrange themselves to be as far apart as possible, thus minimizing the repulsive interaction between them. It is important to understand that you cannot tell the shape of a molecule or ion simply from its formula. You must apply VE, VSE PR theory. In this experiment, where you are going to use uh, balloons in order to visualize the arrangement of electron domains. Electron domain and molecular geometry. Electron domain geometry is the arrangement of electron domains, bonds, and lone pairs around the central atom where molecular geometry is the arrangement of bonded atoms. This slide illustrates the five geometries of ABX molecules. In an ABX molecule, the bond angle is the angle between two adjacent A and B bonds. The AB2 molecule has only two bonds and therefore is linear and has the, uh, a bond of an angle of 180 degrees. The AB3 has three uh, bonds and has an angle of um, bonds of uh, 120 degrees. The AB4 has four bonds and thus has an angle of 109.5 uh, degrees. Uh, the AB6 molecule has, uh, it's an octahedral and has a 90 degree angle bond. The AB5 has two types of bond. It's a trigonal pi bipyramidal, has a 120 degree bond and a 90 degree bond. In the next slides, we're going to visualize the electron domain geometry and molecular geometry using balloons. So the first one is that when we there are only two balloons, 
they orient themselves to point in opposite directions, as we shall see on the bottom picture. With three balance, the arrangement is a trigonal plane. So like the B atoms in our ABX molecules, the balloons are all connected to a central fixed point, which represents the central atom A. When they are as far apart as possible, they adopt the five geometry explained earlier. The total number of electron domains are three. The type of molecule is AB2 in this uh, particular experiment. And the uh, electron geometry domain is a trigonal planar with one uh, number of uh, with one lone pair and the placement of lone pairs are uh, we can see with the molecular geometry are uh, considered to be bent and uh, an example of this uh, uh, configuration could be the sulfur dioxide so with the four balloons as we can see on the picture below the arrangement adopted is a tetrahedron uh, we see <clears throat> AB3 and AB2 molecules can do this uh, formation. The total numbers in both AB3 and AB2 of electron domains are four. The type of molecule, as we said, is tetrahedral. Uh, I'm sorry, the type of molecule is AB3 and AB2. The electron geometry is tetrahedral in both. And uh, for the AB3 uh, molecule, the numbers of lone pairs are one, where for the AB2, the number of lone pairs are two. We can see the different uh, placement of lone pairs and the molecular uh, geometry of AB3. It's a trigonal pyramidal, and the molecular geometry of AB2, it's bent. An example of uh, trigonal pyramidal is ammonia. An example of AB2 molecules uh, are water. In the next slides, we can see all the differences between AB2, AB3, and AB4. Uh, <clears throat> with the five balloons, three of them adopt position in trigonal plane, whereas the other two point opposite to each other, forming an axis that is perpendicular to a trigonal plane. The geometry is called a trigonal pi by pyramid. So in the all uh, in the AB4, AB3, and AB2, with five balloons as we said earlier, the total numbers of electron domains are five. The type of molecules we have, as we said, AB2, AB3, and AB4. For the AB4, the type of molecule is considered a trigonal by pyramidal, as well as for AB3 molecule and AB2 molecule. For the AB4 molecule, the electron uh, geometry, the, I'm sorry, the number of lone pairs is one. For the AB3, is two and for the AB2 is three. We can see the different placement of lone pairs for the AB4, AB3, and AB2. <clears throat> and the molecular geometry, we see that for the AB4, it's a seashore shape, the AB3 is a T shape, and the AB2 is linear. An example of an AB4 trigonal pi by pyramidal could be the Sulfur tetrafluoride for the AB3 uh, could be the chlorine trifluoride, and for the AB2 could be the iodine difluoride. As we can see here, this is the five uh, balloons configuration. Finally, with six balloons, the arrangement is an octahedron, which is essentially a square by pyramid. Uh, <clears throat> we see the AB5 and AB4 uh, type of molecules. The uh, total number of electron domains for AB5 and AB4 are six. Electron geometry domain for AB5 is uh, octahedron, as we say, and AB4 octahedron. The number of lone pairs for AB5 is one, for <clears throat> AB4 is two. We see the placement of uh, lone pairs in AB5 and AB4, how they are different. And we see the molecular geometry of AB5 to be a square pyramidal and for the AB4 square planar. An example of these two for AB5 would be a bromine pentafluoride and for the AB4 or square planar could be the xenon tetrafluoride.